Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. First Corinthians, chapter thirteen, verse six. Devotional. What does love look like? We often define love by what we value or enjoy the most, but with so many different definitions of love that are often contradictory. Jesus' followers should desire the truth. A true definition of love doesn't come from culture, our own values, or from within ourselves. It comes from God, because God is love. First John chapter four verse eight. So any right understanding of love must come from God. In fact, an entire chapter of the book. Of the First Corinthians is entirely devoted to defining what love is. Take a look at a few verses. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. First Corinthians thirteen verse four through eight. First Corinthians thirteen verse six says. That love does not delight in evil. Evil is anything opposite to God or His ways. When we disobey God's law, choose to do the wrong thing, or cause harm to someone else, that is evil. Essentially, evil is when we fail to love God and love others. For instance. If someone difficult doesn't know that the love of Jesus, we shouldn't delight in that. Love should lead us toward sharing the truth about Jesus with them. Or if someone who hurts you is suffering, we shouldn't rejoice over their pain. Instead, we should forgive them, just as God forgave us. Love rejoices in God's truth being. Told, lived, and shared. Take some time to consider how your own definition of love is different from God's definition. What actions or thoughts need to change for you to be more loving? Ask God to show you two or three people you can share His love with today. Prayer, God. Because you love me, I want to love others better. It can be so hard to love others the way you love me. I can feel jealous, angry, hurt. In these moments, help me to remember that you are with me and your love strengthens me, regardless of how I feel. Help me to love others well. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. First Corinthians chapter thirteen verse six. 不喜欢不义，只喜欢真理。哥林多前书十三章六节。Welcome. You matter to God. Draw near to Him today through prayer. Honor God. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. Psalm ninety nine verse three. There is so much power in the holy name of Jesus. With His name, there is healing, restoration, and peace. Take a moment to repeat His name out loud and sit in His presence. My concerns. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Psalm fifty-five, verse twenty-two. 
What concerns do you need to surrender today? Name those concerns and imagine literally handing them over to God. God's will, not my will, but yours, be done. Now and always, align my heart with yours and change the way I think. Make me aware of what you are doing around me, and give me the courage and the strength to take part in developing your kingdom on earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Closing, all glory of God, who is able to do far more than all that we could ever ask or imagine. Take a few moments to process this time with God before going about the rest of your day.